Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a photo that you have taken or an image that you have saved on your computer as a texture in a SketchUp model. So here you see a SketchUp model that I have on the go. I have already textured some of it, and I have this wall here that I want to apply a new texture to. So to do this, what we are going to do first is create a shape to which we will apply the texture. So we will draw a rectangle like this. It is a good idea to keep this roughly um, to the same scale that you want your imported texture to have. Next we want to import the photo that you wish to use as a texture into the SketchUp model. So to do that you click on File and Import and a window will open. And here what you want to make sure is that you have under Format all supported image types and in the window below it Use as Texture. And then you want to find the image that you wish to use as a texture to import. and I will use this wood texture here and import it. And what you will see is that the texture opens onto the screen and you are able to manipulate its size when you click on the rectangle that you created earlier. And it is a good idea here to make an attempt to scale it roughly to the way that you want it in your final model. So in this case with wood here, um, I know that this rectangle is one meter across and that each of the individual wood planks in this texture will be approximately 150 millimeters. So I will uh, scale this model so that you have approximately seven planks across. And I want this texture to be horizontal as opposed to vertical as it is right now. So what I will do is I will take the rotate tool and rotate it and this change will be applied to the texture also. And then it's as simple as clicking on the color tool and holding down command, I am sorry I'm not sure what the Windows equivalent of that would be, but you want to sample the texture that you've just imported, and then you can freely apply it to new surfaces like this. Note that it is also possible to position textures if they are for whatever reason not scaling properly. And to do that you right click on the texture and you click position and these pins will appear and what you can do is navigate these pins onto where you actually want to see of your texture and it is nice doing this with wood because it the lines are already there on the texture as guidelines and then you can click and drag these pins to rescale the texture and it will of course use as a reference this shape that you created at first and after making such changes, it is helpful to right-click on the texture again and click on Make Unique Texture. And that is how to import a photo and use it as a texture in a SketchUp model. Um, I will finish with two useful tips. The first one is that uh, this, the same positioning process that was just shown is very useful for fixing tiling. If you have in your imported image um, the limits visible, you can use the position tool to stretch it across a given part of your model to make the lines where the seams appear to be invisible. Um, it is also a good practice to import the smallest possible image just to keep the file size down so it is a good idea that when you have your photo that you crop it first outside of SketchUp before you import it into the model. And that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope that it was helpful. In the background I'm going to let play another example of applying a texture to a different part of this model, so if you would like to see another example, then you can watch until the end.